Welcome back. Today we have to build a castle. The castle kit is out and I've yet to use it. And what better place to build a castle than Henford on Bagley? I mean, come on. And when I say castle, I think we're gonna build a small castle. Uh, and I thought this lot here, that's atop the hill here in Henford on Bagley. I feel like this is a good vantage point. I mean, yeah, I guess there's kind of maybe a castle down there, but we're gonna build one up here. <laughs> All right, castle estate kit, what have you got for me? I haven't actually looked at this yet, but I think what we can do, what? Do I wanna do rounded walls? They're a challenge every single time, but I mean, you can't have a castle with no turret. So I think what we can do, we could do like a corner section like this. We'll have the middle of the castle like that. Okay, so yeah, turret on the corner, that's good. And then we'll have like a, a rectangular turret. I don't know, I don't know if I'm using the right words here. You know what, I don't know, but we're gonna have a rectangular section here. I think that's good. And then around the back, I feel like maybe like a terrace or something would probably be pretty good. So we do have new fences. So this one in particular, the battlement is definitely meant for like the roof, right? Oh my gosh, that is big. Is there a column that goes with this? Uh, or, uh, oh, okay, there is a freeze. All right, okay. Yeah, so we put the freeze underneath. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So I would use this fence, maybe here would have like a nice little outdoor balcony area. Yeah, okay. Then I might just do another rectangular section here at the back. I don't wanna say rectangular, I'm, I'm just doing a box, okay? Just a box section. <laughs> and maybe this could be the the layout. I think that's good, okay. Then we're gonna just make this all one room because I'll just copy this up at least one floor. Then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this section on the second floor. This is gonna be another balcony like this. Yes, beautiful. And then the third floor. Okay, first of all, I also have to make this taller because we need the freezers in here. Third floor, we're gonna go, let's get our beautiful rounded walls that I'm not gonna <laughs> regret using at all. I think one of the major problems with these curved walls is there's no nice way to get stairs or anything inside of them. We could do a ladder. Actually, can a ladder even fit in this? I can't remember if they can fit even in the smaller size here. Uh, I can go up. I don't seem to be able to go down though. Yeah. <laughs> So unless I build some other structure up here, I can't get to the top of this anyway. But you know what? I guess I'll just do a second section of this. You know what? Maybe I'll make this middle level a little smaller. Keep the lower section big. And then the top level will have to be big again too because we'll have to put the freeze on. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, fences. Here we go. This should be pretty easy on this one. Okay, I gotta be honest. That looks cool. <laughs> Without actually doing anything else, that is cool. Now to do it on this one, I need another circle section. So I'm just gonna copy this one, put it there. Then I'm gonna copy the fence and then just place it over the, the walls and we're gonna remove the ceiling uh, or not. Okay, I'll use a sledgehammer, there we go. Okay, hmm. Kind of feels like there should be different heights, right? Could we, what does this look like if I just put it on this level? And then this would have to be taller and then we'd have to do a freeze only on this section. <laughs> I currently have a dog chewing on my, <laughs> My chair wheels. Our new little baby Franny is just hanging out in here. <laughs> well, she's not doing it right now, but she was chewing on the uh, the little wheels. So I'll just be careful not to move my chair too much. <laughs> okay, then I think this has to be on a foundation as well. Right? There's a foundation, right? Yes, good. Fantastic. Oh, this is, this is good. All right, wallpapers. We only have one and it has, okay, we've got a few options. Ooh, oh, that's cool. So we've got, you know, I guess a relatively cleaned up one and then a version that's got like the dirt coming down from the top. So then what you could do is underneath the battlement. Oh yeah, have that one and then transition into this one down lower. Oh, that's cool. That actually adds a really nice bit of detail. Oh, and then there's like a mossy one too. Ooh, yeah, okay. Now let's do like a mossy one there. Cause then we could have like vines and stuff coming up it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it kind of looks a little goofy oops, around the curve because it really stretches out <laughs> the texture. But you know, it is what it is, okay? We, we just have to deal with it. Now, if I use the, um, okay, for some reason I can't grab the phrase. We do also have a floor trim, which is pretty cool. So we can sort of combine that with all the other elements. Yeah, 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 that looks cool. I think I'll have it go around there too. Because then that adds another little section there. And then the freeze again. Do I want it here. Does this have a, like, um, oh, it does have a different, Dirtier color. I wonder if maybe we mix it up around this sort of inner section. If I just place a floor section up here, then I can use a floor trim on this, right? And that should work. Okay, because then that gives another trim to that section without it clashing with that freeze. Now, the next question is, I kind of want to have like a modern addition, right? I want this to be like an old castle that's been like restored. And like they do so many of these like on grand designs, there's always this old little castle and then they will renovate it, mostly keeping it intact, but then adding, 
you know, different elements of modernization. I guess that means this balcony would have to be different. I'm thinking maybe we, instead of having it like, we go like, yeah, instead of having like all traditional, we go like full grand designs where they just completely disrespect the original build and they just add like a modern extension. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disrespect the castle and its heritage. Although my, and then the foundation can be, I guess, just this kind of looks a bit weird though. Maybe what I should do instead actually, maybe a little bit of terraforming at the back. So then this like modern box is just sitting on the ground and then the rest of the castle sort of blends in a little bit more, you know? Like I'll do, I don't want it fully flat all the way around, but I'll, I'll do a little bit of this and then we'll smooth it out a bit. And then the back section will be, yeah, raised up like that. Okay, yeah, this will be good. <laughs> so we have this like fully modern section just tacked on the back. You know, this is like every like, second episode of Grand Designs, like when they're renovating some old build, they'll have like this beautiful structure and then they'll just do this. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do, baby. Oh yes, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, so we just have like this glass box on the back. And look, I think it looks pretty cool, but if this was re real life, that would probably be horrendous to actually have this done to this beautiful old castle. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put a section of wall here and I think I'll do a, uh, you know, part of the castle structure there. And I guess maybe the rest should, should we have like stone everywhere? I guess maybe this slash stucco over any brickwork. So I might just do all the exterior walls like that. I still have no real way to get to the roof. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this, but oh well. So this is our new castle flooring. This diagonal tile. It's kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, the mossy one. This is actually really nice. I like that, um, the dirty one and the mossy one. I think I'll do the dirty one out there. Yeah, it could use a little bit of pressure washing, but you know, it is what it is. I actually keep the roof lighter. I think it looks nicer. But I like that as the balcony. Okay, so the entrance, I think we do we do have stairs, right? Yes, we do. Good. I'm gonna have them. Well, actually, how big does how big is the door on this in this pack? Pretty big. <laughs> it's like the whole front. I like that. Although I feel like it should probably be cleaned up. So I'll do the cleaner one. Okay, that's good. Okay, windows. What what have we got? Let me have a look at all windows from this pack. So we've got this one. The okay, nope, too big, too big for there. Okay. You know, would it be nice if they designed a few more windows for this, the like, turrets? Because obviously we're going to do turrets in this pack, but that's okay. Okay, these are actually very nice looking windows. Very cool. I don't know, actually, what are the, what are the options on here? What have we got? Oh, look at the stained glass. That's actually really pretty. The blue. What does it look like inside? Oh, that's really nice. Maybe, I might do a combination though. So I might do maybe clear down the bottom and maybe like the stained glass up the top. Do they have like, wait, what else? You know, I gotta, what's in this pack? First, let me just show all, but that's everything in this pack. Two items. Wait, what, what happened? <laughs> Why is there only two items in the pack? Hello? I guess there's no furniture stuff. It's all build mode. Okay, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to find the stuff easier, but I'll have to just like click through, right? I guess it's mostly stairs, railings, fences, doors. I was kind of hoping like flags and stuff, but I guess we, we kind of have that, don't we? Do we not? We have hanging flags, right? Or banners? Or am I making that up? Well, these things I just pulled out. These actually would be pretty good for, um, <laughs> is that a llama? <laughs> That's great. So is this supposed to be, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to use, is this supposed to be like, if I put it like here, for example, and here, and then we had like a balcony above it, or is it just to stick out and not have any relevance to anything? Yeah, I was thinking like if you did this and you had them underneath, is that the idea or is it, or am I doing, is this not the idea? You know what I mean? Like what, what's the point of them? Cause I would like think it'd look cool like this, right? But is, is it more just for like having details on the wall? I don't know. You know what? I'll use them how I want. And then you guys can tell me what I did wrong in the comments. Now, I also just need to get the pavers and put it as a ceiling there. Otherwise that'll look really bad. Oh, we do have a small door. Oh, that's actually, that door is actually so cute because it looks like it's like a really short door, which I kind of love. Ooh, that's nice. But well, we can't do a big door because that's just not going to open to the balcony. All right, well, let's do this. And then, oh, these windows are pretty big. Can I do these? I can do these. What if I did these here? Kind of strange, but I kind of like it. <laughs> but do these at the back, I think a little higher. We can, I feel like we can get decent amount of lighting in this place, potentially. I probably shouldn't get ahead of myself here. Nice big window over here, maybe. No, you know what? I might leave that wall blank because that could actually be useful. Well, hang on, actually. Where's everything going in this place? Because we're going to need to do a kitchen, which actually, yeah, maybe it could be here. And then that could be like an island seating and then dining here or something. Although if that was an island, that'd be very, what is this space? You know what I mean? Maybe we could do a wall and then we'd have the kitchen along this section. And then we could have like a return or something here or this way. No, that would be weird. You know what? I need a little bit more depth. What if I do this? We could have the kitchen sort of more tucked in there. Okay. 
That might work better. I think that'll work. So yeah, I won't do any windows on this wall. Now, how do I want to do this? I probably want to have like, you'd normally do like alternating windows, wouldn't you, on like a turret kind of thing? Yeah, that that makes sense to me. And then the last one would be this. There. Yeah, that looks good. Kind of wish we could have spiral stairs in there because that would definitely make it better, <laughs> for sure. Now I think above here, can, oh, can we do a little balcony? Like that, like we did around the back? I think that's probably the way to go, right? I don't think this even needs to have like uh, a, a door on it. I think just a window, right? It's like that. Yeah, because then it's like a little balcony. Can we get some llamas? Doesn't really fit, but... Actually, we could do it here. What if I did it here and then I had like a little roof section over it? It's a bit of fun. All right. Then, okay, that wall's blank, that's fine. And I guess we do, we need a door to this out this balcony around the back and I need some stairs somewhere too. I think maybe I do stairs here. Maybe just like a little door like that, larger window. And then I feel like it just needs plants, you know? Greenery, seems castle, especially along the uh, mossy walls and all that. And I'll just do like a little bit on this wall. Just look. Just like a real little bit, you know, just a couple of like these. And then we just do some plants at the bottom of it. I need like old looking pots. Oh, actually, yeah, like the jungle adventure ones. I feel like that's probably pretty good for this. They like old ornate kind of pots, you know, because I feel like that fits. Maybe, maybe like a little barrel one, you know, not, not too much, just a little bit, just to sell it. Okay, question is, does that look like a castle? Answer, yeah, let's go. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. And then you could have like your chickens out here. It'd be all good. All right, so moving inside, I guess, I gotta figure out how this, how is this gonna work? How am I, what am I doing in here? What is this? It's obviously a home. Uh, how many beds, what am I trying to do here? Maybe I should do wraparound stairs. Hang on, I need more room to do this. I wanna go that way, I think. Nope, I did it the wrong way. I wanna go the other way. I'm gonna put stairs here. Okay, that, is that okay? Cause the door is here. I was like, is that, does that cramp it in too much or is that all right? I think that's all right. And then I think I'll just use this as a bathroom. Cause I mean, it's such an awkward shape anyway. And then those are my stairs, that works. What's the railing we have for these? This, do I like, do I want to use like this or do we want to go like, are we trying to do the modern touch with glass? I don't want to go too modern though. I think we need to find the balance somewhere in this. It would be cool though, above the stairs to have like a skylight, you know? Crystal, is that what it's called? Yes. Above the stairs, here, here, okay? Look at that. So then, you know, from down here, you don't see it, you know? It doesn't ruin the castle like the back, but you get, oh, look at that. You get the light coming in. Okay, okay. Can we do the same bathroom on that side? Cause I feel like that would probably be pretty good. Maybe I, maybe I do want to do glass railing. Am I leaning into the, oh no, the stupid roof glitch. If I do this, the roof comes through. Whenever you complete a room with a fence instead of a wall, like if I, now these are two separate rooms with a fence in between, roofs do not work properly. I guess what I can do instead of this, I can literally just do the flooring of it and it'll, look pretty similar and it might just be better. Maybe we we'll just do this. Cause then I don't have to worry about it. Same, same effect. And then I need to remove that floor there. Yep. I might love this. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, this window fits like perfectly there. It was like, could we do some sort of window here? Just like little ones. Oh, actually it looks pretty bad from the outside. Okay, never mind. We could do a window up here though, maybe. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. So all right, above this, we have glass skylight coming down to these stairs. I guess these stairs, I probably want to keep the stair and the walls like stone. Okay. You know, let me get some light in here just to see what we're playing with. Okay. So I don't think I really want these internal walls to be this. I think we can keep, whoops, keep up with the sort of castle look with like a, a rendered finish or yeah, the cottage living one actually would probably work well. Although you can definitely see it's a brick because it would be like a lime plaster or something, right? That's what they would have used. Yeah, upon quick, a very brief Google. Yes, that is correct. So, and that that's basically just like, I think this is supposed to be concrete potentially, but yeah, it kind of looks like that is what a, like a lime plaster looks like. We could even make it maybe a little bit more yellow. It should probably be a little bit more accurate. So then maybe we use that in combination with well, actually this box should be metal because it's new. <laughs> this is the disrespect box. And then the, this bit can be the plaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, no, that can say the same. Actually, you know what? I'll plaster over that just because it's like the exterior. Okay, I think that works. You know what, maybe this wall here, oops. That wall there, the stairs can remain like stone like that. Maybe, what do we think? Yeah, the bathroom, maybe. Although then it becomes very boring, right? We might, we might have to change it up, but that's okay. All right, so that's fine. If that's that space, then, okay, that's kitchen, that's fine. I guess this is supposed to be like a living area, which is kind of awkward. Could we do, hmm, this is definitely an awkward interior space. What if I just did it like this? And then this is one space and then this would be another. I don't know what this is gonna be, but something. <laughs> 
I feel like the ceiling could be this, although that's not very traditional. Maybe the country kitchen kit. Oh, well, I've got to use this archway somewhere. Uh, I guess probably here. Maybe I could use it again. So then this is basically just a hallway. I was thinking we could do like maybe, maybe we could do like bookcase or something in here, you know? Maybe like a little library office area. It was kind of in between, it's a bit awkward. Question is, do we just do like really modern interior? <laughs> Because I'm, because I don't think there's gonna be enough castle-themed items to really furnish this place like a castle. The question is, do we just, whoops, do stuff like this? You know, I think we could do like floorboards, maybe on the second floor. I feel like that would work. And then maybe, is there a nice like tile or something we could do down here? What did like a traditional castle tile look like? That's what I want to know. Actually, probably this. We've restored it with this beautiful tile. Actually, that looks, that does look very nice. <laughs> I do actually really like that. All right, what would a castle interior door look like? This is a restoration project, I've decided. <laughs> so it doesn't actually have to be a castle door. Although we could use these, that'd be fun. I feel like it'd be this. This is like what you'd have, but it has a wreath on it, so it doesn't really work. Probably this. Do I just want to use these doors? You know what? I'm going to use these doors. Why not? I feel like it fits. Yeah, that's all right. What was the other? We had another wall detail that we could use, right? From this pack somewhere. This thing. What does this do? I mean, what, what does it do? What What is it? Eh, just a few like emblems and stuff. Okay. It's a bit, it'd be a bit random to have above the bathroom. So maybe not. Okay. Maybe their thing is they're like, they're trying to like respect history, but they're failing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. What does that what does that even mean? I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe I should just combine cottage living with this. Cause I feel like it it makes sense if we're doing like a British countryside sort of home to then have cottage living stuff in combination with castle estate. You know what I mean? I like that couch is fitting. It's just a this is a I, I think I've made <laughs> This is much harder for myself with this layout. Like this is not, this is not anything. Like what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> so I don't know. I tried a lot of other stuff, but instead I've just decided to go with this strange contemporary <laughs> finishing style. You know what? It doesn't look bad. If it was real and this really existed, I would probably be upset. But this is Sims and we can do whatever we dream of. The Sims is what dreams are made of. And I think that's really special. <laughs> Look, we're gonna have elements, like we can have a Batu element in here. That's kind of castly. No, let's do a, um, maybe like an older rug. But you know, it still looks nice. It's a bit of fun. That table's a bit random now. Maybe put it over here. Oh, what about just in the middle? That's probably all right. I just kind of wanted like a little coffee table set up somewhere. That plant is definitely too big for it. Let, let's just get some clutter or something on it maybe. Like some magazines. You know, people live here. All right, castle statue. Does this go, why does this, this horse? I always want to use this horse statue and it never places on anything. It's the one thing I want to use. Okay, well, we definitely have to use this somewhere. Maybe just here. <laughs> we, we definitely need the statue, the knight. The statue, yeah, we need the knight. Get like a mirror behind it. Beautiful. I make it silver though, just cause it was blending in with the, everything else a little bit. It's good. Okay, well, I think that's our living room. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. This is like a little office, I, I guess is what I was doing. It's a bit weird though, because it is like a hallway space between these two areas, but I don't really know what else it would be if not an office. I suppose it could just be like a, a, a reading room, you know, like you could get, you know, get your books out, have a little read. <laughs> okay. That's all I've done is I've just put the armchair in there. I mean, it looks, to be honest, looks kind of like an Instagram shot if I've ever seen one. You know, I get the big archway in front there. You'd be sitting there reading a book, looking all aesthetic, <laughs> but it is so silly. Anyway, moving on, kitchen time. So I think back here, we can easily do the kitchen. Because the question is, do I get like a black kitchen? Yeah, probably like this. This is like the weird modern extension. Not that the rest of this isn't weird, but this is like they've disrespected the original building <laughs> to add this extension on. So yeah, we'll do a little island like that. Then on the other side, I can just add the actual island counterpart. Although does this, no, this doesn't even really line up though with the other one. I was say, also gonna say, I can't really fit a regular dining table then, so maybe I won't do that. Maybe we could just have that return. Maybe a little smaller. No, big. Okay. <laughs> These um, cabinets above the kitchen look really weird, but that's because it's so tall and the... <laughs> It looks, it looks more weird in my opinion to have it like this. Cause then I guess I'd have to do shit. Oh, you know what? Maybe we could do shelving. Maybe it's not weird. No, but then you have all the open shelving. I don't know. It, it, it does, I think it looks weird either way. But the thing is the walls are gonna be down. You're never gonna see it. So maybe it's fine. Okay, well, we've got, you know, the stove, fridge, sink, dishwasher, you got it all. Then we just need a nice dining table. I feel like they'd have something like this. 
for sure. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe this one. Cause this has a few nicer wood tones to it. Okay, let's, you know, let's warm it up a little bit. It's a little cold in here. Get a bit of wood warmth. So I'm pretty sure you can't even get to that middle chair. Oh, actually they might be able to, <laughs> but I think it's kind of more funny that it's like smudged in there. So like if you get to this idea to like walk around the kitchen. <laughs> we need like a, uh, what do you call it? A hutch. Like a hutch or something here, I feel. Although there's not really any that match. Okay, maybe none of the pre-made pre ones. See, I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually entirely hate what's going on here, you know, in this, in this build. I think it's a little bit of fun. Again, I feel like if this was real, I would probably really dislike this. But in The Sims, you know, why not? Maybe we could do like one of these things. Just a shelf over here for like no reason. Or oh, what about this one? I always love this shelf. I never get to use it enough. Then can I add plates on it? There you go. Get some plates and a bowl thing. I don't know. There's some stuff on there you can grab off. You need it for the setting the table. <laughs> okay, I do need a bin though. So maybe a castle, but we still need bins. Put it around that corner because then that's kind of... It's kind of tucked away. We've got a big stone wall there. Okay, yeah. Look, arguably it'd probably be nicer to have the living room in this space, but we don't. Now, actually, I think I'll do this as a ceiling. So it's kind of just like the same as the outside. Let's have a look. Uh, it's actually kind of nice. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like this. It's a bit, look, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of contrast between a castle and the home. Okay, now challenge level impossible. Make a bathroom that looks good with rounded walls. This is not gonna happen. This is not gonna end well at all. Oh gosh. First of all, just even, oh it doesn't even like place. It'd be nice if it snapped to the wall. You know what I mean? All right, well, we need an old toilet. Do we do, I guess we should do like one of these vampires ones. Can I, what's the best way to do this? I guess if I place it on the actual grid, cause you can see there's 90 degrees here. It's easiest to line it up with that section of the wall. So I guess that makes sense, right? So we just slide. Oh, I can't even select it. <laughs> there it is. Slide it back. There we go to the wall. Okay, beautiful. Oh, gold. Yes, that, that's lovely. That is lovely. <laughs> and then I might mean, just do a little sink here with an old school mirror. Easy. All right, the rest of this space. I mean, can we just do like a, a freestanding bathtub? That'd probably look pretty nice. And just have it sort of in between the curve. I mean, it's very also just white and <laughs> there's not a lot going on in here. I think we need to do something else. Is that too much? I don't know, probably. It should, cause I, I wanted a lot of tiles, but I liked that it still had this above it. And I like that the tile goes above where the toilet is. So like all of that's like protected. You know what? I don't totally dislike this. It's very castly with all the stone, the column and that. The tiles just wasn't working. I tried a few different options, but I think just doing this kind of works. You got the toilet over there, a little sink area, and then extra like table for it with a few things on it. Pretty simple. Uh, oh, I should probably do some toot paper. There we go. Pop that over there. Lovely. All right, so that's the downstairs pretty much done. I guess I could do some outdoor stuff maybe. Some seating or something here. Yeah, like romantic garden stuff, like a nice bench or something, right? I feel like it should go there. Maybe I'll get rid of this, put this here. I'll do a few little hedges along there. That's pretty cute. Uh, like, that's nice. Right, upstairs we wanna do, I guess ideally two bedrooms, right? I could easily just do one here. That could be a bedroom, right? And then we could have, I mean, I guess just this whole end section being a bedroom too. It means we get rid of that glass wall there. Oh, glass wall, glass fence, but I guess that's okay. Cause we got a little bit there and we still have the skylight. I think I'll do stone, the same limestone flooring here. And I kind of like the idea of the bedrooms being like a step up. I feel like that happened a lot. I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I feel like in these old castles, they always had like different floor levels and it wasn't all perfectly, you know, level all over the place. So I'm wondering what if I do like a door here? Okay. And then you, this whole section here is like a step up. Does mean the door out on the balcony is a little off? Actually, what if I just make it thicker? Hmm, there's potential. I just add like this wooden, or like one of the ones with like a wooden trim like blend in. Okay, so that works. Cause then what I'm thinking is like this stays the limestone and then this is like a raised platform. But I guess if this is like a, a refurb, maybe we should use nicer wood, maybe just that. So it's still a platform, but new wood. Um, For this one, a little bit more awkward to do, but I've just ended up with this. So it sort of opens in and then I'm thinking maybe we could put like a dresser there or like a, or a desk or something. Yeah, I don't know. We'll play, we'll play around. We'll have a good time. Do we do the same thing with the bathroom? Could even have it step up outside the bathroom. That's fun. I don't really remember. What was the reason I was doing this again? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I like the the difference it makes. Oh, that's right. You can't rotate floors in 
round rooms for some reason, okay. I think it's a bit of fun. What do we think if I did actually do glass all there? Have like this huge like modern glass like portion. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fun, but I think I need to disguise it a bit more from the outside. Like what if I just did something like this? We got some columns, a little fence around it. So, well, okay. <laughs> this hill behind this lot is kind of annoying. But yeah, what if we just do that? Cause then it kind of, whoops, kind of blends in. You know what? I think we need to do a platform uh, at the bottom here too. So I'm just gonna do that. But I, I think this, I think this is working. Yeah, and then just some plants and stuff around the bottom. I think that, I think that works. Cause then that, feel like makes those stairs more of a actual statement in this house, which is fun. I might scale the, oh, that's actually really big. Okay, I won't scale it up, but I was gonna say, I wanna use some of these in this area. Wait, they don't have, oh, they don't have a clean version at all of the old, like this one. I wanted like this one and this one, but there's no, literally none of these versions are clean. They're all dirty. Oh, that kind of sucks. All right, well, uh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> all right, well, forget it. I'm not using it. I'm out. <laughs> I don't feel like we could use a tapestry though, maybe here. All right, just a few little things in the hallway. I think that's fine. Okay, bedrooms, let's go. So we have beautiful windows, little door. Okay. I suppose you could have like a grand bed, right? Like how grand are we, oh, are we talking this grand? How much is this? 15,000, wait, how much does this place cost now? 66, if I add this, that's like a 25% increase in cost of the house. I think the vampires one is actually pretty good. Or like the realm of magic. I Even the tomerang one actually, maybe this is a bit better. Or well, the four rent one, not tomerang. There we go, nice rug, just inconveniently placed under the bed. But you know, it adds. Then we need like really expensive paintings, right? We need like these, the portrait of the lady and of the Lord. There we are. They're really just kind of put up on that wall. <laughs> I mean, there's no, look, nowhere else to put them. That's where they're gonna go. You know, those people, this was their castle. Castle. Well, I mean, it is a castle, it's just very small. Okay, and then, but like a dresser. Oh my gosh, this is like perfect, it's so small. Look, the castle doesn't come with a lot of walk-in wa wardrobe space, okay? What I would actually like to do is have a chess table. I think we need a chess table. We probably need some fancy curtains as well, you know? Oh, actually these base game ones, I feel like definitely fit. Do I want blue though? Kind of like the green. It's not like that royal, but I mean, is this place royal? Downstairs is like some contemporary mess. And then I don't know what's happening up here. So I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll slide these in a little bit so it doesn't clip with the curtain. Okay, then I've got a mirror right here at the little exit area, which I kind of like. I don't know if that'll actually work because I did use move objects to place it there, but I think it's a bit of fun. We'll have to see. So that's the bedroom. I guess, well, downstairs we've got all this contemporary stuff, but we have some elements of the castle, you know, with the knight and all the actual, I guess, details of the architecture. But I think, that, I think the bedroom's kind of nice. I do like it. Or do I? <laughs> no, I do. I think it's cool. All right, then this bedroom. I think this bed is actually pretty good. Oh, that one's fun. I like that. But then hang on. I did, there's so much style mismatch going on right now because <laughs> because of the downstairs. All right, maybe this needs to be a little bit more contemporary, this bedroom. Oh, what if we did like a uh, TV unit here? Nope, this one. There you go, a little TV in bed. That's fun. No, I don't like that. <laughs> no, no, undoing. No, I think uh, maybe a bookcase there would be better. And again, more on the contemporary side. So we'll make this room a little bit more hip and with it, if you will. Although having said that, this room is not hip or with it right now. <laughs> All right, I think, I mean, I've, I've got something here. I don't know, <laughs> I've just kind of compensated for the fact that I made that other bedroom really mismatch for the rest of the house, but. You know, it's a little bit of fun. It's still castly and dark. I do have these sort of lines here where we have the exterior walls blending into the limestone of the interior. So I'm not sure if I should like do anything with that. Like, do I do I want to like I put a column there? Oh, but the problem is because we've got a freeze outside, it won't go all the way up, which is kind of annoying. But that actually looks a little worse. I mean, I could just leave it or I could put a gutter there. No, I'm not putting it gutter. I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe I could just change that wall there and then this one and then just have those two exterior walls there be the stone. It's a pretty dark room. Do I just add an extra light in? Do I just like add one of these? Just make it brighter? Cause it, it does feel very dingy otherwise. I mean, I think the room's kind of cute. It doesn't have like a whole lot going on in it. I should just do some bits of artwork or something just to just give us something to go off of. There you go, a little bit of countryside. <laughs> yeah, look, I think it's all right. It gets the point across. It's a bedroom. All right, I just got to do this bathroom, which I guess I'll just do 
pretty much the same as the one downstairs maybe. I like the column there because it uses that space which otherwise is just kind of nothing. And I also do think it kind of makes sense like I guess realistically when the castle was built there probably wouldn't have been indoor plumbing so they wouldn't have had a toilet but it could have been like a chamber pot or something. But anyway when they eventually did add indoor plumbing it kind of makes sense to have all the pipes lined up in the same spots you know. Could we get a shower up here though? That'd be nice. What if we get like... Mm. Problem with that is I guess I'd have to do one of these and then like build... Oh you know what? This might... What if we did this? Shower on that corner. Wall. Did I just like mess up something? I saw everything glitch for a second. Wall, 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 wall. And then windows and a glass door. All right, we've got a little shower now. And then what I would do is probably... Oh gosh, curved walls are so annoying to work with. Is probably... Because this would obviously be like a new addition, right? So let's just say we do tiles in here. And I'll do this limestone flooring in here as well. Then we have a nice little wind, uh, window, a nice little shower space. There won't be a bathtub up here, but that's okay. Because we do have a bathtub downstairs if we need it. That's pretty fun. And I'll do the same sort of setup I did down there, which is the sink and then like a little extra table here for some stuff. Yeah, a few little bits of clutter and that's good. Now the problem is we have this section up here, which, whoops, why am I in ceiling mode? Which I don't think we're, uh, we're gonna be able to get to the roof. So I think I'll just leave that because there's, there's not really any easy way to get up to the roof. But that's pretty good. I think I've now furnished the interior of our little castle. <laughs> we're really respecting the heritage of this old traditional build, you know, by completely gutting the interior and modernizing it. And then kind of not upstairs, but also kind of. I, I gotta say though, the wallpapers, like fences and all the stuff that comes with this pack, if you do want to build castles, like this is great. Because this fence alone with this freeze makes all the difference. And then actually combined with the actual, the, the stonework, that looks like a castle. You know what I mean? So it does the job that it needs to do. Now I feel like we just need some sort of formal garden kind of thing, you know? Maybe like one of these. We need, where's the well? Hopefully you guys picked up romantic garden stuff recently when it was free because it goes perfectly with this pack. Like a wishing well over here. I think I might need to level this ground a little bit. It's a little, a little too loosey goosey. I feel like we could have some of these like dotted. No, it looks, I feel like it, everything looks formal when it's just kind of arranged in a certain position. It's like, oh, they've got bushes in a line there. That makes sense. <laughs> Actually a tree over this side is good because then it sort of covers up that <laughs> those modern windows and also that big box at the back. I think I'll do a few more of these. Maybe just like that. Oh, you know what? A little closer. And I think just like a little pathway maybe. And I guess if I just like maybe fade it off at the end. I don't know if this is going to look weird. I mean, I guess it always looks weird because it's we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but then if I line this with like flowers and stuff, right? Like it doesn't even have to be that many. Like I feel like once you get a good like selection of stuff in there. You kind of just like layer it up like a little bit and then you're you're done, you know what I mean? Like, I think that makes such a big difference just having that around the edge of the path. And then I think this side, like having a bench maybe here and another one over here, another one over here. I don't know, it's just really simple, but I, I think that does the trick. I think that's kind of what we need. And then I'll do a little bit on this side as well just so it doesn't look completely barren. But because it's so shaded over here, I don't want to do too much garden because then I think it doesn't really make the most sense. At least in my head, I don't know if that, that <laughs> That holds up in reality, but in my head it makes sense. Like, I think that's cute. Then we'll just do like a little bit of brown. You know, it's not all perfectly green all the time. And then maybe finishing touch. Outdoor activity, can we do... I don't know, we got a little room in the back, but not that much. Actually, I don't really have any room because it's like so sloped. I can't really place anything there. So yeah, I guess it's fine. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna call it Ruined Castle because whoever bought this ruined it and made it contemporary. <laughs> Look, I think it's a little bit of fun. And I think building with a kit is actually, this kit, pretty good. It's hard to, you know, recommend kits. But if you want to build castles, I mean, I think this kit is what you need, right? I just think the outside looks actually really, really cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And of course, all my members, I really, really appreciate it. If you're interested in downloading this build, it will be linked down below or you can find it on my gallery, James Turner YT. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. Maybe we'll build a proper big castle at some point and maybe furnish and 
design it accordingly, not just randomly smack in contemporary editions. I don't know, this felt very like Grand Designs inspired, where I think there's like at least a few episodes where they literally get this old castle then just like whack in some contemporary extension, which isn't always a bad thing, but sometimes it can look pretty shocking. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.